One of the first questions people ask when getting started with Bitcoin is, well, how do I get it? And there's actually multiple ways in which to acquire Bitcoin. And really the first and simplest way is, is simply through uh, a person-to-person -person transaction. So knowing a friend who has Bitcoin and wants to either buy or sell, or going through your friends list on a social network such as Facebook and reaching out to different people in your area. There's also directories uh, that exist. One uh, very popular one is called localbitcoins.com. Right now they have uh, people in 7,000 cities across 240 countries. And so there's a good chance there's someone near you who is willing to uh, exchange local currency, whether it's euros or dollars, uh, depending on where you live, uh, for Bitcoin. The next way is through, through an exchange. So think of an exchange as simply um, a site that you can go to and buy and sell Bitcoin using your own local currency. So right now there are multiple exchanges that exist. Most of them are specific to a country. So generally you'll pick an exchange based on uh, your own local currency. Keep in mind the sign up uh, process for an exchange is typically going to be uh, a bit longer than uh, a simple person-to-person -person transaction. So there's multiple um, uh, types of identification in which you will need to provide uh, in, in that sort of thing in, in order to participate. Um, the next way to get Bitcoin is, is by going to an ATM. So think about the, the same ATM that you use with your bank today. And there's a few different variations of, of ATMs that exist. Uh, more simple and, and, and more complex uh, ATMs. So the, 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 the simple ATMs uh, just allow you to um, give your local currency, again, whether it's euros or dollars, and the output is, is, is Bitcoin that you receive. Uh, the more advanced ATMs that are available today will allow you to both buy and sell uh, Bitcoin. So you could uh, take your Bitcoin to an ATM and actually get fiat currency back out of it. Uh, another way is simply providing a good or service uh, in, in, in exchange for, for Bitcoin. So rather than um, charging someone, uh, let's say for uh, graphic design or programming or any type of uh, good that you create, uh, instead of charging fiat currency, you'll, you'll instead um, agreed to be paid in, in Bitcoin. And lastly is the, the mining. So we spoke a bit about this in unit two on some of the more technical details around how Bitcoin works. Uh, and, and mining is simply the compiling of, of transactions into, into blocks and adding them to the blockchain. And, and the reward for, for participating in that is uh, newly released Bitcoin and also the the fees in which um, are added on to transactions. So, so those are five ways in which uh, you can acquire Bitcoin. Uh, first is through a general peer-to-peer -peer transaction. Uh, next is through an exchange. Uh, third is through a, using a Bitcoin ATM. Uh, fourth is using uh, simply goods and services that you already offer today and instead of being paid in, in local currency, getting paid in Bitcoin, and, and lastly is through participating in uh, the mining.